I think there might be a guy between us. Is there a guy between us? It's EJ on an unboxing. <laughs> Holy moly, we normally shoot these when he's not around. We think we're kind of capable of shooting these. <laughs> what am I doing What here? are you here for? This Air Joe, he won't knock it off. No, he won't stop. Well, you know, it's a new year, and um, I think I can, do, I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that both of them are already open is they came to my house, and every, he always sends via Amazon. So we never know, like, is this, like, did Nina buy this at 2 a.m.? <laughs> There's an inside box, oh, a box okay. within a box. All right. So that box was just for the gag. That's just a gaggoo box. I see it's from Ronco. Sounds like a cheap grill. <laughs> it's called the Ready Grill SS Black. Made in China. 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 So it is, what is that? Is this a vertical grill? I don't know. Like what this a is. gigantic toaster? It looks like it's a gigantic toaster. Your new Ronco Ready Grill offers all the BBQ style taste of an outdoor grill, plus the satisfaction of speed convenience, cleaning ease, and no smoke. No smoke. How? Four heating elements grill both sides at once, sealing in the juices instantly and locking in the delicious it's a big flavor. Toaster. Of your food. A toaster. It's a big toaster. <laughs> The whole thing here, John, is that you can grill indoors. It's not gonna be smokeless. It's, it, look, they said it twice. It's gonna be smoke filled. Look, there's heating elements on the side. You put your precious in there. You put your precious in there. You dump precious in the, into between heating elements. <laughs> is it really that stupid? I don't know. <laughs> then you gotta like manually scrub this out? No. Well, there must be a drip pan. There's gonna be an infomercial for this available. Yeah. Bring the fantastic flavor of grilled food inside anytime you want. Just pop in your food. Drop it in, turn the dial, and when it dings, dinner is done. Grease and oils drip away. The Ron Co branded drip pan, it is. You must put this like here. Well, it even has like, oh yeah, like a little collection. It's basically like if you took your the broiler in your oven and then you just put two sides to it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty legit. This isn't like the cardboard grill. Yeah, so right. maybe I'll get like a high cut prime steak, dry age it, and put it in a toaster. <laughs> Oh wow, it's got like a real mechanical toaster timer. So that's, that it's is a just legit. a big ding. toaster. They don't, strangely enough, don't brand themselves that way. <laughs> you know, it's a big toaster. It's a big toaster. <laughs> Put your steak in it. All right, now this thing. You thought you liked the barrel cooker. How am I gonna make ribs in this? <laughs> there was a message too. In EJ's aged mead video, King Cool 2099 asked when I was going to mail EJ a wood barrel for aging. So yeah, I guess this is me doing that. All it takes is one comment. <laughs> one comment. And you know what? I think this would be a cool video. Yeah, because it's a legitimate wood barrel. Like if I do another one, I'd probably just do that same traditional mead. And then instead of after the primary fermentation, either cold crashing or doing a secondary fermentation, I'd do that aging here. This air gel content pipeline is pretty useful. Uh, yes, there's some of the grills they said are just too shitty. <laughs> <laughs> and when I get around to reviewing them, I'm sure they'll be great. The but... cardboard one was fascinating. This is like a finely constructed oak barrel. It looks like one half of the DK bongos. It does, that was the first thing I made. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like, did, did EJ get some bongos? A bong, bong, bong. Bonga, bonga, bonga. Thank you for purchasing a redhead oak barrel. Rinse out your barrel, insert spigot, fill your barrel with hot water and insert bong. I think this is like, like primarily for aging hard liquor. Isn't I it? would think for hard li liquor, but well, we could try it with wine. I mean, it's, meat is basically a wine, and people yeah. age that stuff. And you know, even if it's just a display piece in your house, I think that, that it's could... actually pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know how big it is. It's used for mellowing rum, whiskey, bourbon, tequila, and brandy and wine. So it's all those things. I'm uh, suspecting it's a half gallon, EJ. A half gallon, yeah. I know this is sacrilege, but if I if I bring my <laughs> My half gallon water thing, which has insulation on it, I think that it is a half gallon. Are we gonna see EJ like in all of his content, like carrying around like a barrel full of water? <laughs> <laughs> Get that barrel out of the. Out of the <laughs> oh, river. sorry, I, got, I need this. It'd be like in those Hobbit movies where like you drink the wine out of the barrel. Oh yeah. yeah. Medieval alcoholism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I'm actually very interested in these products and I will try to review them. These to me both seem in scope. Yes. I really want to see whether or not this thing works. Yeah. Because I want to know, can I grill stuff indoors? Then do I really need to when you have a It's like pan right outside your kitchen and you never use your grill anyways. Right. So and it, like you have an oven that basically does one half of this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it gets you it gets you pretty far. You just have to flip it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're not gonna review that then. <laughs>
<laughs> this is really good. Can you believe that that came out of a grill that lives on your countertop? Mark, I love this. It's amazing. It's white, flaky. It has a crisp on the outside, but it's still really juicy on the inside. It's fresh and very flavorful.